we're trying to show that the equation ax equals b does not have a solution for these two matrices. So we're just trying to solve this. And let's go ahead and multiply this top row by 2 and add it to this one. So we get minus 6 here, minus 4 there, and then add 2 times the first row on that one. Then the same thing here, but it'll be minus 3 times that first row. So plus 9, and then plus 6, and then over here it would be minus 3 times that first row. We can sort of rewrite this over here. So it's going to be equal to 1 minus 3 minus 2 would be 1. Here we have 0, uh, negative 4, negative 4, b2 plus 2b1, and then 0, 8, 8, and b3 minus 3b1. Um, so we can see that if we just multiply this row by 2 and add it here, we get minus 8 and minus 8, and then we do plus 2 times the b2 plus 2b1. And uh, then we're going to see that this third row becomes 0, 0, 0 equals that. So you kind of have this expression that 0 equals b3 minus 3b1 times, or plus the 2 times the b2 plus 2b1. And this will simplify down into b3 um, plus b1 plus 2b2. So as you know, if you have a matrix with 0, 0, 0, and then it doesn't matter what number you have over here, um, but uh, that would be no solution. So that's going to be the expression, of course, that would represent it.